Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we have this uh, beautiful uh, exponential uh, equation and then one exponential, one linear, okay? How do we solve this kind of problem? Actually, I'm going to be using two different methods. So I will use the first method and then of course we we'll get an answer and then I switch over and use the second method and see if we are going to still get the same thing, okay? So that's it. Let's get back and see how this can quickly be dispatched. Okay, so uh, so starting, we have solution. Uh, okay, so we have uh, six to uh, so six to the power of a plus six to the power of b equal to forty two. I'm going to call this equation one, and then I have a plus b equal to three. I call this equation two. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is to say from equation two, sorry, from equation one, rather, from equation one, I'm going to have um, six to the power of a plus six to the power of b equal to forty-two. So, what I'm going to do now is to multiply both sides of the equation by six to the power of a. I can also choose to multiply both sides of the equation by six to the power of b. It's still the same uh, thing we are going to get. Okay. So let's say I multiply both sides of the equation by six to the power of a. So I have six to the power of a times six to the power of a plus six to the power of b equal to forty-two times six to the power of a. Now on the left, I'm going to expand these brackets so as to get six to the power of a times 6 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of a times 6 to the power of b equal to 42 times 6 to the power of a. Alright, and now I'm going to apply this law of indices that if I have a to the power of n multiplied by a to the power of n, this will simply give me a to the power of n plus n. Okay, so when you have the same base. Uh, the same power or separate powers, we can pick out the common base and then simply add the exponents. Okay, I'm going to apply this to this uh, line of uh, solution. And so, in the next line, I'm going to get 6 to the power of a plus a plus 6 to the power of a plus b equal to 42 times 6 to the power of a. Already we know that a plus b is 3. So I replace this a plus b with 3 and then add up this to give me 6 to the power of 2a plus 6 to the power of 3 equal to 42 times 6 to the power of a. I'm going to apply another um, exponential law here that if I have a to the power of mn, okay, this will give me a to the power of m all to the power of n. Okay, so I'm applying that to 6 to the power of 2a. And so, 6 to the power of 2 is now becomes 6 to the power of a, all to the power of 2, plus 6 cubed is 216, and of course we have 242 times 6 to the power of a. Okay, so now um, I'm going to say, let m equal to 6 to the power of a. So wherever we find 6 to the power of a, we are uh, replacing that with m. So this equation now becomes m squared plus 216 equal to 42m. This is quadratic, and so I'm going to write it in the standard quadratic form, which now becomes m squared plus uh, minus 42m plus 216 equal to 0. So now the goal here is to factorize, and uh, from the look of things, this looks like it's going to have a linear a linear factor but let's investigate and see if we have linear factors for this and uh, we're going to find the discriminant so that means delta equal to b squared minus 4ac uh, b is minus 42 squared minus 4 times 1 times 216 squared so there will be linear uh, there will be linear factors so uh, what are the linear factors? So I can say uh, um, m 
squared minus 6m minus 36m plus 216 equal to 0. Okay, so we have um, so we have grouping this and then that together and this together we have m bracket m minus 6 minus 36 bracket m minus 6 equal to 0. Alright, so we have m minus 6 times m minus 36 equal to 0. Alright, so, and so from, you can convincingly say that m equal to m minus 6 m minus 6 equal to 0 or m minus 36 equal to 0. So from here m will be equal to 6 or m equal to 36. So there will be two cases and don't forget we have said that m should represent 6 to the power of a. So we have case 1. So that will be 6 to the power of a equal to 6. So I'm going to raise this to power 1 and then we apply this law that a to the power of x equal to a to the power of y. So since we have equal bases, then the powers uh, have to be equal. And therefore we have a equal to 1 here. So a equal to 1. Okay. So then if a equal to 1, and we have it that we have it that a plus b will be equal to 3. So that means that b equal to 2. So let's go over to case 2. So case 2. For case 2, we have it that 6 uh, m equal to uh, 36 here. For case 1, m equal to 6. So for case 2, m equals to 36. And that means 6 to the power of a equal to 6 to the power of uh, 2. Yes, that's 36. And therefore, from here, we can conclude that a will be equal to 2. And so, if a equal to 2, what that means that using a plus b equal to 3, it means that b will be equal to 1. So these are the two uh, cases and their results. So for case 1, we have a equal to 1, b equal to 2. And for case 2, we have a equal to 2, b equal to 1. Now let's quickly look at the second method of solving this. the second method, method two. So um, for method two, we still have the same set of questions. Six to the power of a plus six to the power of b equal to 42. And then we have a plus b equal to three. So what I'm going to do is to um, start with equation two instead from equation two. I'm going to make be the subject of formula so that b equation 2 becomes b equal to 3 minus a so let me call this equation 3 and then i take equation and now substitute for b in equation 1 so i have 6 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of so b now becomes 3 minus a equal to 42 and so i'm going to apply the law that we already know to split up this to 6 to the power of a plus 6 to the power of 3 times 6 to the power of minus a equal to 42 right and then i have 6 to the power of a plus 216 dot 1 over 6 to the power of a because um from indices a to the power of minus n is the same as 1 over a to the power of n so if i have a to the power of minus 2, this becomes 1 over a to the power of 2. Alright, and so since we have 6 to the power of minus a, so it becomes 1 over 6 to the power of a, then we go to 42. And from that end, we come over here. So we're going to be multiplying. Multiply each term by 6 to the power of a. So we have 6 to the power of a multiplied by 6 to the power of a plus 216 dot 1 over 6 to the power of a multiplied by 6 to the power of a equal 
to 42 multiplied by 6 to the power of 8. Alright, so this and this we cancel each other out. So I have 6 to the power of 8 plus 8 plus 216 equal to 42 times 6 to the power of 8. Right, so from here I have um, 6 to the power of 2a plus 216 equal to 42 times 6 to the power of a. So I'm going to rewrite this as 6 to the power of a all to the power of 2 plus 216 equal to 42 times 6 to the power of a. So if we go back to what we did earlier by saying that let m equal to 6 to the power of a, so this equation now becomes m squared plus 216 equal to 42m. And that's in standard quadratic form will give us m squared minus 42m uh, plus 216 equal to 0. And then from here, you can go ahead to get your value of m to be um, value of m to be 6 or 36 from where we can obtain the values of a and b respectively so thank you guys for staying by i will see you in my next video uh, please uh, watch learn like share and a comment i'll see you and of course do not forget to subscribe